Hello everyone. Today we can start the new chapter. Our second chapter is control and coordination. What is the need of such a system in our body? You know, in the first chapter itself we learn many life processes, digestion, then respiration, circulation, excretion, any process are going on at the same time simultaneously in our body. So, if these processes are not controlled or coordinated, it will surely affect our functioning. Okay. So, a control and coordinating system is very urgent. And moreover, we are complex organisms, we are not a similar organisms. So, here we have a well developed coordinating system. And in our case, there are two coordinating systems, neural coordination and hormonal coordination. So, first we can study about the neural coordination, nervous system. It is the nervous system. In the class 9, you already learned the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. What is it called? It is the neuron or the nerve cell. How these nerve cells receive the signals? Because we, we are normally responding to the outside signals. Okay, we are showing the response. Then only we can live here. Okay. How this is possible? Because these neurons, there are specialized in nerve cells. These nerve cells, specialized in nerve tips, they receive the signal. And such specialized nerve tips are known as receptors. These are known as the receptors. Normally, these are located in our sense organs, in our ear, nose, tongue, etc. For example, gustatory receptor, gustatory receptor. These gustatory receptors are located in the tongue, which have to detect taste. Okay. So, how can we recognize the taste of the food? Because these receptors are there in our tongue, which have to detect this. Another example is olfactory receptor. Olfactory receptors. These receptors are located in our nose. So, what will be its function? It helps us to detect the smell. Okay, these are some of the examples. It is very important for your exam also. So, what are receptors? Receptors are specialized in nerve cells located mainly in the sense organs. Example, the secretory receptors have to detect taste. Olfactory receptors in the nose have to detect smell. Now, how, uh, how these impulses, okay, these receptors receive the signal. How this impulse reaches to the main part? You know, the central nervous system. Brain is the controlling unit. How these messages goes to the brain? And how the uh, information from the brain coming back? So, now let's check how it passes. Do uh, uh, you remember the structure of neuron? You already learned in the 9 class or in normal classes also? You learn. So, here, you can see the branches, these smaller branches. These branches are known as dendroids and dendrites. Okay, these are the dendrites. The smaller branches that are arising from here, that is known as the dendrites. Then at the center, here you can see nucleus. Okay, and cytoplasm is also there. And so this is the nucleus and this is the cytoplasm together known as the cell body. This is known as the cell body that is the second part. Now there is a low red -like structure okay and it is covered by a sheet also. Is known as the myelin shield. Okay. Now, what happens to this? So, what is the name of this one? It is the axon. It is the axon. 
Now the axle divides into branches. And each branch ends in a bulk like part. Some spellings you can see. And that is known as nerve ending. Nerve ending. This is the structure of a neuron. So, how now we are studying how the impulses, impulse means the nerve signals, how these signals are passing. First, the dendritic tip receives the signal. Okay, so the first part is dendrite. Okay, this dendrite receives the signal and it reaches the cell body. It reaches the cell body. Okay, from the cell body, this message or impulse passes through this axon. So, from the cell body, it goes to axon. Here, these impulses are in the form of electrical signals. Remember that one. It is in the form of electrical signals. When it reaches the last part, that is in the nerve end tube. Now, from the axon, it will reach the nerve end. Nerve ending. Here you can see, these are uh, somewhat swelling. The one swelling you can see. That means it carries some chemicals. When the message reaches here, this nerve endings release that chemical. Okay? And this chemical, this is known as the neurotransmitters. These chemicals are known as neurotransmitters. So, these chemicals are released into these things. And these chemicals convert the electrical signals into chemical signal. Okay. And now the neuron, one neuron ends here. So, how this message will go? This the length is not sufficient to reach there. So, many neurons are connected like this. Here, this is the part of one neuron, the axonite of one neuron. And this is the dendrite of another neuron. You can see a small space. It is not completely joined. A small gap is there. And that functional part is known as, functional junction is known as synapse. Okay. So what is synapse? Synapse is the space between or the functional junction between two neurons. Now, from the nerve ending, it will cross the gap. It will cross the gap. Gap means the synaptic gap. And it will reach the dendrite of, dendrite of next neuron. At that time, when it cross this gap, again the chemical signal changes into electrical signal. In this way, it moves from one neuron to another. And finally, it reaches the end. So, first the dendritic tip and see the signal. It moves to the cell body. From there, it goes to the axon. Through the axon, it reaches the nerve ending. From the nerve ending, it goes to the dendrite of next neuron. At that time, these chemical signals converted into electrical signals again. Okay. In this way, it is possible. And the same type of signals we can see between the nerve and the muscle. And that is known as neuromuscular junction. Because these nerve cells are connected to the muscle, then only we can respond. Okay. So, neuromuscular junction also there, where the nerve cell joined with the muscle cells. So, this is an introduction to this chapter and we will study the remaining part in the next class. So, before that, understand all these things because these are the basic things. Okay, thank you.